Welcome to Stress Less and Decompress with Katie. I'll be talking about ways we can all de-stress and some helpful activities to get involved with. Welcome to Stress Less and Decompress with Katie. Um, so we're kind of going to be going in a different direction today. I usually don't bring books in. <laughs> I usually don't really read. Um, but I went to Barnes & Noble's the other day and I decided to get a book. Because um, I actually have a book in my room that I've had for a year or two and I have not read the whole thing. I think I've read like maybe 30 pages. It's kind of embarrassing. but. Um, you gotta start somewhere, but anyways, um, I thought I would, um, find a new book that I really connected with, and so I found this book, it's called Hear Me Roar, um, and it's by Jennifer Cassetta and Lindsay Smith, um, it also says underneath Hear Me Roar, it says how to defend your mind, body, and heart against people who suck, <laughs> and, um, I looked through this at the store. I was just skimming through a few pages and literally every page I was very interested oh. in. Are we laughing? Um, and there's basically, it gives you all kinds of, there, it's divided into three different sections. So, um, let me see where it starts. So it starts by talking about um, Jennifer and Lindsay's personal stories with um, what they kind of experienced um, and this is more specifically with um, their experiences with um, as they quote people who suck um, so um, so we have that and then it goes into three different sections um, it also gives you a how to use this book because it's not really like a usual book. It's not like a you don't have to read it necessarily in a certain order. But um, so the first section is on self confidence and it gives you all the information on how to gain self confidence, what is self confidence, all that kind of stuff. Um, second section, let me find it. I haven't gotten that far, but it goes. It gets into like every single aspect. Um, it gives you specific um, yoga poses for, you know, when you feel anxious or um, do you need want energy and so on. Um, it shows you how to do all these, so it's not just telling you to do this or do that. Um, it also gives you songs that you should listen to, like to help inspire you, uplifting woman empowerment, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and then the second chapter, second section is on personal safety. So this is, they talk about um, how to defend yourself. Um, and they kind of talked about that in the beginning of their experiences um, in New York and how they defended themselves and ways to succeed in that. And then the third section, if I can find it, close. Oh, I missed it. The third section is on food and health, and it gives you lots of different um, options for what to eat, but also gives you recipes for um, different kinds of um, snacks, um, mocktails, there's no baked treats also. It gives you all the step-by-step um, in here, it gives you websites to look at also. So it's a very helpful book. It gives you literally everything that you could be wanting. And once again, it tells you directions and how to make all these. And they're pretty easy. They're not super difficult. Um, and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't read the whole book yet, but I got really excited about it. So I think you should read it. So you should go get it. Um, all these people just appeared in the room. 
Um, so I guess we'll get into that. Actually, we're going to take a commercial break. Um, and when we come back, we're going to talk to everyone about some other things. So, yeah. Being a successful woman in business means having the courage to own who you are. We understand the challenges faced by women and we are here to help. Our team is here to develop the best strategy designed just for you. Your path is unique and with the right tools you can accomplish your dream. From radio to TV, from podcasting to magazines, we create the visibility to amplify your impact in business. At New Dawn Media, we are here to help bring your message forward and help your business flourish. It is time for your message to be seen and your voice to be heard. Contact us at 866-224-5422 or brooklyncafe.tv. Your voice can make a difference. Love the Brooklyn Cafe? Don't miss out on some of the latest merch we have available. Need a new shirt? The Brooklyn Cafe has you covered. We have a variety of shirts in all sizes, ranging from the classic cafe shirt to the highly coveted colorful hot dog shirt. Need something for cold weather? Why not grab one of our cafe hoodies? Or you can snuggle up with one of our soft silk touch fabric blankets. The Brooklyn Cafe has everything you need from clothing about the show to our signature coffee blends and mugs. Get it while supplies last. You've been watching Stress Less and Decompress with Katie. If you'd like to be on the show or would like more information, contact me at Katie Zibley at gmail.com Now back to the show. Um, we're off to a great start. Um, we got a lot of people in here now. Um, and we're going to go around the room and we're going to talk about some questions. I looked up some um, <laughs> some feeling circle prompts because this is technically a feeling circle and we all need to share we sh well if you feel comfortable sharing if, you're, if you don't feel comfortable then you shouldn't be here but like you know what I mean <laughs> anyways um, I have a list of some questions um, we're just going to go around the room we can start with whoever um, and Kaylee if you want to join in since you're running the board anyways so all right um, okay, so I'm going to start with the first question. They're not in order. Um, what impact do you want to leave on the world? Who wants to start? Josh. No. Josh, what We're going to go in order. We're no, we don't have to start in an order. You can start with whoever. Impact is like a legacy? Yeah, just what, um, yeah. What do you want to change with the world? Like, what do you, what impact do you want to leave? Oh. That people see me or that I see myself? In other words, my impact or what other people see of me? What is it? What is it you're asking? Well, you can do it whichever way. You can just what, what impression of yourself? Do Legacy, you wanna... I would like to leave that I gave everybody a shot to be who they are. Mm -hmm. Should we give snaps to everyone? No? Might as well. All right, Josh. What was the question? <laughs> um, what impact do you want to leave on the world? Uh, I guess just to be influential. Anything specific, like with like music or like just in general, just to influence others, or you don't know? Yeah, just to pass down the the lesson of teaching and. Um, not everyone, not everyone is good at something, so you can give them a hand on the shoulder and say, hey, you got it, I can teach you how to do this. Is that fine? Yeah. Uh, 
Just a question. I didn't understand the question. It's a tough question. You see, I didn't... <laughs> well, you don't have to. Okay. No, Can no, you... It's a fair question, but it's a tough question to think of. All right. Um, Kaylee, what about you? Um, probably to like make people feel things. You know how like movies make you feel stuff like that. Mm, that's a good one. Snap, snap, snap. I didn't get a snap. Well, because you gave me a weird reaction at the end. You gotta believe your answer. You gotta tell it with confidence. Uh, no. You didn't really tell it with confidence. Mm. Um, I just want to yeah. leave um, positivity. Mm -hmm. Make sure everybody feels that they're wanted in the world and that they're needed, just in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Stop! 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 Uh, I just uh, want to be my mark on the world is like a I don't know, a good person, someone who uh, who is kind to others and who. Uh, um, no. Yeah. Someone's just kind of, yeah. You're a good person. Yeah. Um, I would say, I wouldn't say one specific thing, but I would just say overall just to um, be kind to everyone. Um, there's a question that's sort of related to this that I kind of have a similar answer, but I'm just going to say um, in general, my I guess my impact that I want to leave on the world or on others is just to spread kindness and just be nice to everyone because everyone's dealing with something so might as well be nice just to help them out a little bit all right um <laughs> the next question is um what gets you excited about life the challenge that every day is a new page in my book Yay. Uh, I don't know. Well, these are very like broad questions. Well, it's a feeling circle. I know, but they're very broad. Yeah, but you can say whatever you want. There's no wrong answer, and there's no right answer. Well, it's just you don't get the. Yeah, I know. What, what do I look forward to? What gets you excited about life? What do you like? What are you excited for? Like in the future? What are you excited about now? Like, you know, like. Well, yeah, I guess. I guess. Or... I guess I'm always excited about the unknowing. Of what's next? Okay, okay. Katie. Um, first, I agree with Josh. These are hard questions. <laughs> See. <laughs> probably just having the opportunity to like do what I want to do. Mm. Really? Okay. That's an interesting answer. Mm -hmm. The question was, what am I excited on in life? Yeah, what gets you excited about life? I mean. I'm it just happy. Ah. <laughs> I'm just happy to breathe. When I'm able to wake up and see my family, mm -hmm. and hug my mom and my dad, and able to talk with my brothers and sisters, that really makes me happy. That's what I look forward to every day. Mm -hmm. uh, I look forward to. Uh, I don't know. Um, what gets me up? Uh, to, these are hard questions. Uh, it doesn't, but it's not like a wrong or right answer. You could say something small. Like, okay, so what know? gets me up uh, every day is like the fact that I know uh, I can, I'm going to get through the day. That, That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, I would say that I'm just, what gets me excited about life is just looking forward to experiencing all, experiencing it all. Um, you know, all the big events in life, you know, getting married and, um, well, I'm probably gonna have a cat instead of a <laughs> child, but I'm actually excited about that. <laughs> if, you, you know, everyone has a different path, so just go with it. Um, I'm, I'm just excited because every day is different and um, it's important to just experience what you can and if you're ever given an opportunity, you should always take it and just see what happens. Um, what do you wish you spent more time do doing this last, this past year? Jeez, what do I wish I spent more time doing? Um, I'm 
probably probably doing what we do on a bigger stage maybe doing something um, that's that involves everybody on a bigger stage a more dramatic stage not I mean this is fine but I'm looking for something bigger so I want to make it I want to get into the deep end of the pool mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, I'm a, well, I actually got one for this one. I'm going to throw a little curveball at you. I wish I spent more time um, at this one dog shelter called Big Dog Ranch out in um, off Southern Pass 441. It's a dog animal rescue place where you can foster animals, uh, but you can go out there and just walk the dogs around, pet them, bathe them, just let them know that there's people out there waiting for them. And then they're not just alone in a cage with, you know, by themselves. Okay, that's good. Um, mine isn't deep, but right now I wish I spent more time saving money. I really regret it right now. Okay. I just want to say we look like we came from a company, Corey and I. A outside company from somewhere else, but... <laughs> What I wish my time, I uh, spend my time, um, the question, I remember it. I don't really um, have anything. I don't have no regrets. I'm, I'm pretty much happy at where I'm at. But saving the money, probably. If I save more money. I need to spend less on Uber Eats. That's, on what? On Uber Eats. That's literally all my expense. If Uber, it goes to Uber. So I, I need to reduce my Uber Eats bill. Try DoorDash then. Yeah. DoorDash, so I, can get the <laughs> <laughs> so I can get the money. Um, <laughs> I would say prioritizing self care more and getting out more because um, I remember last year I was like I didn't have I really just like went to school and then went back to my room and like watched Netflix all day and I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore because I have so much more time to actually get things done and accomplish things so I guess I wish I could have gone out of my comfort zone sooner and done something out of my room yeah. um, the next question and that's kind of like this last one okay um, what makes you smile seeing other people smile you gonna smile though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> your fog in there, you okay? Yeah, I'm trying to think your of something. Your dog, your mom. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say my dog, but I wanna be something. I wanna do something different. You can say anything. No, not the band. <laughs> um, I don't know. Pass me. In drawing? No, pass. You got a lot of things pass. to Pass. Passive aggressive Alright, what about you, Kaylee? Mine is probably my dog. Or videos of my dog. Your dog? <laughs> you got a dog? She's Wait, at home. you? No, she's at home. What type of dog? She's like a mix between a beagle and a labrador. Aww. What's the name of the dog? Beverly. Of course. That's a cute name. Okay. I didn't either. See, we, you learned something new in the feeling circle. You're welcome. Dogs are always better. Anyways. There's a lot of things that make me smile. Um, but one thing is the call from my girlfriend. Aww. Makes me smile a lot. <laughs> there are also a lot of things that make me smile. But one thing that makes me smile is uh, my, uh, my grandpa's dog. I don't have a dog, but my grandpa does. What so. kind of dog does he yeah. have? Havanese. What? Havanese. Isn't that a, a font? A font? That's a font. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like, 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 like Times New Times Roman. Is that a small dog or a big dog? Times New Roman. Times New Roman. Is it a small dog or a big dog? It's a small dog. Uh, that's not a dog, though. That's a small dog. Yeah, it's a small dog. Okay. Probably is a dog. Probably is a dog. Okay. Is a dog. <laughs> I love my Maui. <laughs> It's a turtle. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. I like turtles. I was thinking the same thing. Um, um, 
I'd say my cats. Very high up there. Cats make you smile? My cats. Specifically my child, as I call her. She's like my daughter. Um, just go with it. Um, and talking to my family on FaceTime. Also seeing the cats there. Um, sugar. <laughs> All right, we'll just move on. <laughs> um, what has life taught you lately? Don't take anything for granted. <laughs> Live every moment like it's your last. Yep. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, There's a quote I finally understand now by Yoda. Um, it's do or do not, there is no try. And I finally do understand do what that quote means. Do or do not. Do or do not. There is no try. Huh? Can you, exp yeah, can you explain it a little bit? Uh, do or do not, there is no try. Um, I mean, in, in life, I mean, what is life really? So that's kind of what it is. It's just whatever you leave behind it doesn't really matter so you can just do it or do or not do it it doesn't it, nothing really matters that's basically true. i feel like just like as long as it matters to you exactly. that's all that really matters exactly. basically yeah. as long as you enjoy it um probably to not force yourself to do things and to only do it if you actually want to okay life has taught me it's a small world after all. It's a small <laughs> world after all. It's a For small, real. small world after so, all. So since it's so small, you got to make sure you're doing good by people and by yourself. Because you don't know when it's going to come back to you. Uh, yes. And uh, at the end of the ride, all the worlds coming together. All the cultures, all the, exactly. all the, all the beautiful people come together as one. And we only ride, rode that ride when I was a kid for the AC. Because it was so hot walking around. <laughs> and the Pirates of the Caribbean. There was no AC. What was the question again? <laughs> what has life taught you lately? Okay. Um, uh, never give up. Never give up. Yeah. Um, well, I, I found a quote actually from this book, bam, um, and it says, one cannot think well, love well, sleep well, if one has not dined well. Period. If one has not dined, D-I-N-E? Dined. Like, oh. dined. Like, if you don't huh? eat good, you can't if, sleep good? Like, no, like, ba like, you can't, like, basically you need to take care of yourself, you know? Like, if you can't. Yeah. I heard dying. I heard dying. dying. I'm yeah, like, I heard dying. no, it's D I N E D. If I die well, it'd be. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, I guess I life is. I want to die well. I want to die happy. Exactly, right? I was like, how are you going to take that quote to the grave? But You're not. You'll be dead. <laughs> You'll be dining. <laughs> dying. dying. I'm in Spain without the S. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one? Um. <laughs> what is one thing you would like to change about the world? Oh. Who wrote these? Um, it doesn't matter. It's the most basic questions of all time. And make you think so. Hate. Hard. Remove the word hate. Mm -hmm. Just the word or the action? <laughs> yeah, the Everything that goes so, with it. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> what is what? <laughs> what is one thing you would like you would most like to change about the world what do you want to change about the world Ooh. I know one of them um, but you're not going to say it what keep going <laughs> I wish music was better today I wish people would respect musicians instead of just singers that go on stage okay I wish people would re respect not the director of the film, but everyone that goes into making that film. Yeah, that is cool. Bye-bye. Like what, what is the 
<laughs> Kaylee, what about you? Um, I would probably change it so that everyone can live the life they want, or at least live comfort comfortably. Yeah. I like Freddie's answer, removing the word hate, and also remove the word tax. Taxes. Like IRS yeah. kind of thing? Like IRS kind of thing. Is that just the word or also? <laughs> <laughs> Everything that goes with it. Okay, good. Um, something I would like to remove from the world is uh, pain and not just the word. Just no pain. Can I do a second one? I would get rid of uh, slaughterhouses and all those things that hurt the animals because we need to um, stop eating them. Yeah. Okay. Um, one thing I would like to change about the world, this is more unrealistically, but I'm just going to say it, if everything was free, because then I could go to Target spend, and just take everything there. That's the best answer. You could still Thank do you. that. That is the best answer. Well, why would you go to Target? You went to the wrong. Target you went the, the wrong store. spot. Seriously, but you had the best answer. Yeah. You gotta go to like. Uh, you know, but I guess more re more realistically Hobby though. Hobby Lobby has some cool stuff. Or like, y'all sleeping on the big lots, bro. <laughs> 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 I think, but more realistically though, I guess I would like to change all the if I could. Take all the negative people, not make out, but like help them become positive. Just change because everyone's, yeah, because there's so many negative people out there that sometimes just become negative because of some little thing that happens to them and then they portray it onto everyone else and then everyone else gets negative and just, if we just talk about it like this feeling circle, we wouldn't be so negative all the time. Everybody was an empath. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, we already did that one. Um, is it more important to love or be loved? Um, I like that. So am I going first? Are we still going in order? As I was about, like the yeah, it's all you. Could. <laughs> uh, was it to be loved or to be in love? Is it more important to be to love or be loved? Uh, I guess it's more important to love because if everyone loved one another, then that would be the best outcome. Exactly. Kaylee? Um, probably also to love because that's a better feeling or you feel it. Yeah. I'll say to love as well because for me, sending out love gives me love. Mm -hmm. So to love. I'd also say to love, uh, just because you know, it's wanting to be loved is selfish. I'd rather do something that's selfless. I like that. Well, can I change mine then? Sure. Everyone, everyone's being to love, so I'm gonna be. It's better to be loved, because, because. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, when, 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 when someone loves you, 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 I guess you're happy, right? Not always. I, I don't know. Okay. I don't I, think I, the wrong person. That's, yeah. That's, I, I want to be loved by Sudan Hussein. <laughs> All right. That's almost worse than swear. Oh, what? All right. Um... <laughs> I would say that it's more important to love because I feel it can go so many ways. It's more important to love yourself before you can love others. That's kind of the rule. Not the rule, but that's an important thing to... That's like a guideline. It's a guideline. You yeah. have to... If you, can't, if you can't love yourself, you can't love others. You can't love someone else. So you have to focus on yourself first, figure out who you are. Um, not sponsored, but... Um, Liz's podcast, it's called How to Date Yourself and Said. It is so empowering and she has really good information as to how to date yourself instead, which is, you know, how to love yourself. So, yeah, I would say it's more important to love yourself because you have to love yourself before you can love others.
And if you don't love yourself and you're loving somebody, you're pretty much waiting for them to love you more and find that hole by yourself. You got to give yourself love before you can love someone else. No. Can I ask the next question? Okay. All right. We're going to start with Kaylee because I'm not... This is me asking the question. You ask the questions. Oh, you're the host now? Okay. Can I ask your question, Katie? You have like five minutes. All right. Five minutes. Um... What four people, any, any, anyone in any time of history, what four people would you take out to the bar with you? Oh. Wait, it could be anyone? Yeah. Anyone. Four in, people? In, anyone. Anyone well, I got, at all. I got at least Literally one person. Literally anyone. I, I'll say you said four people? Yep. You no, no, no. Have no. You don't have an answer? I don't have an answer either, but off rips, take a Michael Jackson with me. Okay. Okay. And with Michael Jackson will be coming, Tito and his little brothers. I'm joking, but it'll be <laughs> it'll be um Michael Is Jackson, right? Janet's gonna be there too. <laughs> no, not not all of them. It'll be Michael. I'll say. The monkey. Nah, 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 not Bubbles. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you an MJ fan? Yes, I'm taking Michael first, and then I'll say, um. I'll take Abraham Lincoln because he got the same name as me, kind of, sort of. Um, um, say thank you. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say Moses, so he could split the drinks into. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, while my dog Jesus coming for the last one. He gonna turn all the water to he wine. He doesn't even open the door. He just floats down. He's floating this. down. He's making everything turn to wine. Those are the four people I'll be chilling with. Who's next? All right. Uh, let's see. Um, Jim Henson, Steve Jobs, uh, George Lucas, uh, and I had one more. I just don't remember. Was that four or was that three? That was three. Five. That was three. <laughs> um, not Bill Gates. Uh, come back to me. Don't. Oh, 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 Norm McDonald. Oh. As long as you're not bringing Bill to the drinking session. Oh, Bill Cosby? <laughs> you don't want him in the right. drinking session. First on my list. First on my list is Sally Bernard. Oh. Because I've been whoa, talking whoa. about this for so long. Not just the bar, but I want to get a. I want to have a glass of wine with her. And just get to know her more because she has her shows, but I think she's just so incredible and amazing. And I just want to like have a little drink with her and just you know That's learn cool. more about her. That's cool. Now other people that are more unrealistic, I'm gonna say Bill. Oh, I didn't spell her right. Um, Billy Eilish, Taylor Swift, and Will Ferrell. Very strange mix, but it's just there. I've never heard you listen to one Billy song. I, I'm just I'm being honest. I I've have. Never, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um, and let's do maybe one more question. No way, Kaylee. Don't you have yours? Didn't answer. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Probably Princess Diana, Megan Fox. Mm, I don't know, like Miley Cyrus. That's a good one. Yeah, that's it. I don't know anyone else. <laughs> okay, so. that's cool. All right, I'm going to close it out with one more question. Can I say my four? You already did yours. I didn't say my four. Because he gave me a good one. All right, go. He gave me a good one. All right, go. so Jimi Hendrix, Boom. Salvador Dali, Boom. Jim Henson, because Kermit's my favorite. And if I had Kermit in the room, I would just have him. I mean, I don't want to be rude to Jim Henson, but I want him to talk in his Kermit voice the whole time. <laughs> with the T. Uh, R.I.P. the goat. Um, and then one more. Um, I guess Jack White. Um, he's another musician. That's cool. Um, all right, last question. Um, what is your number one goal for the next three months? Oh yeah. It doesn't even have to be next three months. Just what's your main goal in life, or what's your, what do you want to accomplish? Can it, can I say a year? Sure. All right. Uh, my next goal is to create an actual. Um, 
I won't say a full album, but I'll just say uh, at least create an EP. Which um, an e- the difference between an EP and an album is an album has to consist of music at least 35 minutes or more. I believe, and then an EP is obviously shorter than that. Like 10, so I only, I only have yeah four songs on there yeah. for about twenty minutes, maybe or something. Exactly. Okay. That's nice. That's a good one, Kaylee. Um, probably to create something that I want to create. Like I see myself graduating, and the goal never changes: get better. Just get better. No matter what it is, if I learned how to tie my shoe a little different than before, then I tied my shoe different from yesterday. As long as it's getting better, and I see myself getting better and becoming a better producer and probably making my way more toward California, but I hope it doesn't come to that because I love Florida. Um, I think... I'm going to also go for a one-year goal. Uh, In one year, I'm going to still be, uh, well, I'll be getting through school. I'll finish my first uh, year, uh, and I'll do uh, well enough. Um, And uh, I'll continue to work on my my art skills and become a better artist uh, and prepare myself more for the industry. Um, I would say, uh, I'm also going to say a year. I don't know. I'm going to switch it. I'm sorry. But, um, I would say for in a year, um, I hope to be graduating in a year. I hope to have a steady job that I enjoy and be somewhere, even if it's not in Florida, be somewhere that I will actually explore and walk around in and not stay in my room. So I want to actually get out of my comfort zone and find somewhere, even if it's still here, and experience new areas, new restaurants, all that kinds of stuff. That's all. Thanks. Um, All right, well, I'm sure we're (laughs) out of time by now, but... All right, we're, we're going to wrap up um, today's episode. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next week. Woo! Bye. Thanks for tuning in to Stress Less and Decompress with Katie. If stress is something you struggle with, think about watching a sunset, listening to music, dancing like there's nobody watching, and explore something new. You never know what you'll find out about yourself.